welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie and today we are going to do something a little bit different and unique. And we, I'm going to call this three, three step embossing because we are going to use three different colors of embossing plus it's three, um, three stamps. So this is three step process of getting one image. That's it. That's it. That's, that's how you say it. So we are going to get a piece of white cardstock. I'm getting a white piece. Y'all can use whatever color y'all want. Whatever. I am getting my uh, falsified or falsified mark ink pad and I'm going from light to dark on my embossing powder making sure this sticks a piece of scrap over I'm using what a light yellow, a pale yellow. I got some off, but I'm going to take this little bathroom cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to heat set it with a heat gun. Okay, now, the key to this is letting it dry, uh, dry and cool off because you don't want it hot because your other, your embossing powder will stick with to it, your other, that you're fixing to add. So we're going to let that dry for a few seconds. And I'm blowing on it, y'all. Now, I don't know if anybody else has ever done this. If they have, I ain't copied it because I didn't even know if you could do it until I tried it a little bit ago. On that other one. Okay. Now, I'm taking my next to the darkest, my medium yellow. And I'm going to use my next stamp.
that out of the way. Good. Now we're going to heat set this one. Now I'm not saying this is going to come out perfect. I'm not saying this is going to come out perfect because it is not because I've made boo-boos. It, it's okay. It's just paper, bossing powder. Oh, shit. Y'all, I forget that this is why I work on the glass mat most of the time because I forget that heat messes up stuff. Okay, now I'm I'm taking my top layer of my and then uh And then I'm taking the darkest and just and we'll heat set it. What do you think about this? I love that little thing, by the way, guys. And you guys be careful or you will scorch your bottom layer. Now, I don't like this one because I screwed up on it in two, three different places. I, I was stamped and didn't get all the embossing powder off. So, I'm going back to this one. See the difference? See this? I'm not, I mean, I could do the fussy cutting, but no. I ain't happening today. I promise y'all, it ain't happening today. Even with the uh, skin cut. Okay, I'm just going to trim this up. I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take this green.
Okay, now to get this the exact way I want it, I'm going to uh, glue this this onto this with my ATG gun that I'm having issues with today. What's next? Okay, now I'm going to take the paper trimmer and I'm just going to trim it, trim it just a tad more. And somehow never I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this thing cuts straight. That's my opinion. No, if it does or not, I don't know. And I'm going to take this real pretty yellow. Well, I can mark this. Now my new one. Okay, what I'm doing is I just marked this at five and a half. I'm going to ink around the edges of the green with some, um, uh, about like a burnt sienna, if you a paint on, if not, it's just kind of like a brownish red. And I'm going to try to get it onto the white too, to see if I can make this all pop. something else. And this is what I do, guys. One thing don't look wrong. Try something else on top of it. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to use the ATG again. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we want? Let's do hello, folks. And I think I'm going to use get a piece of, I think I'm going to use this brown to do this. And I'm going to stamp it just like so. Ah. And I am going to take my oaf cuddle. And cut around that, and I'll have to have my mat because this don't look good otherwise. I'm taking the red uh, deal. Now I'm taking the oh, only espresso. I think I need some espresso. And I screwed it up, but it'll be okay. It's a hello. It's handmade. As my husband would say, even though it's screwed up to me. Let's see. And now I'm just going to use a um, foam tape and there we have a easy oh I need to put a cord base on it huh I'm gonna get carried away here I'm putting my stamp on it. What well, says it comes from my craft room. And then I'm just going to run. Didn't call me guys that's how easy it is to mess up a corn do you spend two three hours on it 20 minutes on it but that's about a 20 minute card for me i hope y'all enjoyed this process give us a thumbs up if y'all want to know find out some, maybe some new techniques who knows what's coming next y'all have a blessed day and we'll talk to y'all later bye